Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's Iron Sky. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is 29th of March, March is almost over, and we're doing Iron Sky, the movie. That's right, and uh, this movie was, uh, I don't know what to say this movie is, because... It's <laughs> I think actually, it's a modern B film. Yeah, 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 that's a good way it of putting it. It has a lot of fun it, it's being a, It's a modern B film, and it's got all these weird kind of uh, story premises that you kind of have to just say, oh, okay, yeah, I believe that, sure. Um, it's and, fairly high production value, But though. yeah, it, the production value is better actually Better than Sci-Fi Channel kind I, of thing. I, I yeah. like it. It's like, yeah, better than Sci-Fi Channel. It, it's actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed this movie, and this is... I, I don't know why, because this one got a lot of bad reviews. A lot of people said that this was crap. They didn't like it. Horrible things. I think it's got like a 39% on Rotten Tomatoes. You know, people just didn't like this yeah, movie. Yeah, but if you, if you take it seriously, of course you wouldn't like it. Well, who took this movie seriously? Yeah, There's that's absolutely the nothing that's in this thing. movie that could be... Well, I mean, I guess there is some serious tones. You know, it's like, it's like one of those things where... It's it's got this kind of silly premise and everyone acknowledges right. so that it's silly. So I was going to say, what is the premise? Okay, so so basically the year is 2018 and the president, the now president of the United States, who looks a lot and acts a lot like Sarah Palin, <laughs> uh, decides that she needs more press. She needs more uh, uh, publicity. So she decides to send a two two man operation to the moon just to be on the moon again. We went we sent them there once and uh that worked well so we're gonna send them again and she's gonna get the credit for it. So she sends an astronaut and an actor. Right? He was an actor or a well, football a player? He was, oh he was a model, you're right. So an actor and the model. The model's name is James Washington and I'm gonna get into him because he's really funny. So they go there to the moon and what they find out on the moon is that the Nazis have colonized the moon, the dark side of the moon, and they've been there since nineteen forties. And that's right, moon Nazis. Moon Nazis, that's right. And that's your first clue that this shouldn't be taken seriously. <laughs> yeah. So they kill off the, the regular astronaut, and then they took they take James Washington hostage. and He's try a black and, man, he's a brother. He, yeah, he's, he's a black man, he's got this big afro, and, he's, and he's, all, he's, he's just really funny about it. And so they try and brainwash him, they try and turn him into a Nazi, so he's, he's watching all of this propaganda, and, they, and they're putting, subjugating him to this kind of, uh, like, Sounds kind of thing. Very where clockwork orange. Yeah, yeah. In a funny way. Crazy, crazy stuff is happening. Well, and I will say also that it's like a time capsule. Uh, the, the Nazis have not had really contact with the Earth. Right. And so they're still kind of the 30s, 40s, you know, aesthetic. The tight curls and the little aviator caps on the on the women and right. you know the suits and the little whatever they're just the the same outfits that we know and all that stuff. Their their computer and their machinery is just all big and clunky and very impressive, very cool looking, <laughs> yeah. but way outdated. And yeah. so when Washington shows up, you know he's 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 the modern American. I mean this is 2018, so this is even beyond modern. Right. So he's like, what the hell, you know, it's like he's a got, cell phone. He's got a little BlackBerry, yeah. yeah. And and so so they're trying to to change him because. Um, Basically, what he's not Aryan. Yeah, yeah they're, turn, they're turning him Aryan, and that's funny. Uh, and and so there's this like this there's this like aura around the people who aren't diplomatic. You know, anyone who's not in the military or whatever, they're all like the Nazi uh, uh, ideals are for peace and prosperity and to spread right, that right. throughout. And that's the ultimate goal of the Nazis, is not to conquer. But meanwhile, you know, the the, the people who are in charge, they're like, we're gonna go down. We're just gonna take over. We're gonna kill everyone and and just start ruling again. Hail Hitler, or whatever the... the yeah, they, they say that, but they're like, no, he's gone, you know, now it's me, you know, so it's Hail, you know, whatever it Yeah, was. yeah, whatever his name was. Um, but what I loved, I loved was uh, Jay, uh, Washington, the black guy, he over there, he has to prove that he's turning into a Nazi, so he does like, he's trying to prevent his salute, and then immediately you think of uh, Dr. Strangelove, you know, so, you know, you know where he's like, no, no, you know? Yeah, and that's a good, that's a good example of just the little things they sneak in there that are odes to other things. So right. you really watch carefully, and you, you know, you've watched a lot of movies, and you'll be like, ah, ha, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's funny. Yeah. And yeah, it's not to be taken seriously, but it is a lot of fun, and it's consistently funny. You do have some straight performances, like I think the main uh, girl, yeah. the, the main Nazi girl. She does a wonderful she job. She has a very kind heart, uh, you know, her... she's the teacher. Yeah, her name was uh, Julia Dietz, and she did a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah, and there's, you know, we kind of buy this little you know, romance between her and Washington, but it's not all that it seems, because Washington, yeah, he, he's made Aryan, I guess we shouldn't ruin everything, but 
it's just awesome to yeah. see him see that. And it's just ridiculous. And it's, so, it's his brother in white face, you know, kind of thing. And it's just ridiculous. And so the Nazis in Washington, they go from from the moon to Earth to, you know, start figuring out how they're going to take do the takeover. Yeah, the but only takeover. some of them do. And so he's kind of, you know, he's, he's, he's blindsided by this American super agent girl, yeah. which she's the only character that I don't like because I don't think she has enough fun with it. Right. Because she's kind of she kind of plays this almost nymphomaniac, but whatever. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish there, but she's not as ridiculous as some of the other characters. Right. She doesn't just go for it, and it, it just kind of ends up being stupid because she's like all tough one minute, and then she just wants let's make love or whatever. And it's just like what you know. It's like it's a funny idea if they'd taken it a little further, but yeah, she plays yeah, yeah. it too straight. Right. And so you just get this bad like USA performance or something. You know what I mean? Like it just it doesn't quite fit for me. Although yeah. you might have thought it was funny. I, I thought I, you I like. The, Las Galas and Cadaver. I know, stuff, I know. You know I, I liked it. I, I totally got this movie. This movie was just silly. Just and everybody stupid. else I buy, but that one was And then the Zeppelins. Kind of and just, uh, so... Oh, yeah. The Zeppelins are awesome because they, they use them as the spaceships. <laughs> right. Like, like the Hindenburg kind of thing. Yeah, these motherships inter- kind of yeah, Zeppelin interstellar, motherships. Whatever. It's, interstellar it's awesome. Interstellar Zeppelins. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what they were. Yeah. So, and, yeah. We just won't... Whatever. It's on Netflix. Go watch it if you're interested. It's right. a lot of fun. It's just... Don't take it seriously. And it's not terribly long. It's not like a huge investment. If, right. If you don't like the first you know 10 20 minutes then you know whatever that's that's yeah yeah your opinion probably uh, your opinion of the whole film so. i liked it i I, they, I think they it was just good enough for us to recommend it right it I, I read a review where they they likened it to like a sequel to austin powers that never should have been because there yeah. was a lot of outdated jokes or something but to me they were all they were throwbacks they were nice and I austin powers austin that, powers yeah. came out what 1998 or yeah. whatever you know, so it's been a good, solid... Well, I thought the bit with the, years. you know, the phone was kind of funny, and but not really. It's just, again, it's one of those things. It's like, it's a sci-fi kind of idea, but done with higher production value. Yeah. So if you like that stuff, then you'll like it. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I was kind of surprised that I liked it so much, because, yeah, it only got like two or three stars right, on Netflix, right. you know, kind of thing. But just don't take it seriously and give it a chance. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, it's a great movie. Silly, stupid movie. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, tell us what you think of this movie. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, watch our great playlist. Uh, Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. See you later. Son of a bitch. Such crap. We start off next week with the House of M. This came out, and I not done the uh, date. 2018. I totally didn't put down the, the, the date this came out. I said released October 2011. No, that's 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 the comic. Oh. And then the other ones, the when the video game was announced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not supposed to agree. <laughs> I want to say it came out in 2011. I want to say. So I'll say that. It came out sometime. Don't worry about it. I don't think you really need to. This is a freaking ridiculous movie. They also announced that there was a, uh, a possibility for a video game, so we may see a video game as be like a first-person shooter. <laughs> I don't know how that. I mean, not not a first-person shooter, but a flight simulator. That would be funny. Yeah. Not fair. If I mean, you know, I figured eventually you'd break twenty, and that's fine. But not if my gun sucks. Not it has to be because you're being a better shot, not because my gun sucks. Oh well, I'll never be a better shot. I suck. Oh whatever, Mister. I taught shooting. Blah, blah, blah. I did teach shooting, but my. I aunt, know. That's what I'm saying. My my aunt taught me how to swim. She doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> doesn't mean anything. But, all right. Look. She, she just said. She just said, do this. Do this. Wait, let me do my thing. Oh right. Right, right, right.